What's up, guys? Big D Wiz, OldSchoolStare.com. That's right. We have the Rockford Fosgate Peanut, a.k.a. Punch 30, here on the bench from approximately 1989. And we're going to try it out and see how it does on the amp dyno. You may notice that we don't have any noise in the background from the power supply. That's because we're going straight into this AGM battery right here. We don't have a charger on it or anything. So we're going to be right around 12 volts. But I figure you guys don't care. So let's go ahead and hit up the certified run. And I just have it hooked on one of the banks here. Let's do a 4 ohm mono load. Let's see what it'll do. It's rated at 50 watts. Woohoo! 51 watts. Right at 12 volts. So there you go. Let's uh, let's go back and try the uncertified run. Again at 4 ohms. Start dyno. Let's see what we can do at uncertified up to clipping. 68 watts. Woohoo! Pushing those subwoofers really hard. All right, let's go back to the dynamic test. And let's try it. Oops. I meant to do dynamic test at two channels. Four ohms. Start dyno. Start track two. Let's see what we can do. Sixty-seven watts dynamically, eleven point eight six volts. It's not going any higher than that, so I'll stop the test. Well, there you go, friends. The Rockford Fosgate Punch Thirty Peanut. Just a quick test for you guys who support me. I appreciate you again for supporting Old School Stereo. I like to give you guys some extra videos here behind the scenes. So, until next time, this is Big D Wiz. I'm out here!